Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong. In this video, we're gonna do a, just a fishing tip, a quick tip on what to do with the motor while you're fishing. We're gonna cover two situations. Number one, when you're drift fishing without the trolling motor, and then number two, when you're actually using the trolling motor. This is an overlooked uh, thing. A question came out, I realized that oh, we never did a tip on it, so here it is. So if you're drifting, this motor is actually really important. It'll control your drift. You need to use it to your advantage. You can use it as a rudder. So what I like to do is I like to angle it up to the point where I'm getting a drift like this. The boat is perpendicular. Every boat's a little bit different. Sometimes it needs to be all the way down. Sometimes, like in this case, it's just angled up slightly. What you almost all, never wanna do is lift it all the way up out of the water because that's usually gonna have the, the back end move up. But what you can do, if you wanna make it a rudder, I'm gonna put it back down, and now it can actually control my actual drift, where now I can turn the steering wheel and it's gonna start steering the boat to the area that I wanna go. You're gonna see this boat angle starting to slowly turn, and over time, you can actually, you can actually cover a lot of water efficiently. So really, really cool that that's the case. So that's what you do if you're drifting. When you're on the trolling motor, a, a similar situation, but you, you need to use it as a rudder, of course, but you have a couple things to think about, especially if you're going up in the shallows, you need to make sure that your motor isn't hitting the bottom. Um, but you also don't wanna lift it all the way up because then your, your boat's gonna be fishtailing as you're, as you're actually using the motor. So what I do, I usually have it in about this position where it's not totally down um, and it's just a little bit, it's a little bit lower than the hull of the boat, but not by much. So that if I do happen to get a little bit too shallow, the motor is gonna stop me before the actual hull of the boat is, is on ground. So, uh, and so again, never lift it all the way up. That almost always will just make the back end start fishtailing around and you don't have control. Keep it down and then use the actual level that is down as your, as your rudder and use it to your advantage. A lot of people overlook it. And, uh, and so just thought I'd make this quick video just to, just to talk about it, just so that it's in your mindset in case you, uh, you don't really factor that into your fishing plans. So hopefully that was helpful. Any questions at all, leave a comment down below. And if you have any other suggestions on anything that I missed, please let us know as well. This is just tr trying to start a conversation. And again, it was a good question that came in that, that we, we not yet addressed. So here it is, hopefully it was helpful. Any other questions at all, again, let us know and we'll be happy to make future videos. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that it's the biggest and best saltwater fishing club in America. We actually guarantee you'll be catching more fish in under 10 minutes of your time per week. And you're gonna be saving a ton of money on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.